We've arrived at the Silk Mill Dam, where Lydia Mariah Child and her husband David Lee Child, two Garrisonian abolitionists from Boston, came here two years before the utopian community was founded. He and she manufactured a scheme to raise sugar beets as an alternative to slave-grown sugar cane and found out that the Connecticut River Valley of Massachusetts was the best place in the country to raise sugar beets. They first came to Northampton, rented an acre in the rich, fertile meadows, lived at Duckett House, what is now Duckett House at Smith College, and they won a medal for the first beet sugar to be manufactured in the United States. They won that award, they thought, well, let's expand operations, so they bought 100 acres of land up here in Florence. Much of that land turned out to be worthless swamp land. And even the house they were to live in was a ramshackle shanty, they called it, and they couldn't even live there. So they had to rent 20 acres of land here from the Northampton Silk Company and put their beet sugar manufacturing equipment into the Josiah White oil mill, the linseed oil mill of Josiah White. They never really could make a go of it. So they needed income. David really never was able to provide the family with income. So Lydia Mariah Child went off to New York City to be the new editor of the National Anti-Slavery Standard. And in that capacity, she became the first woman to edit a political magazine in the country. And there she lived in the home of Isaac Hopper, a great abolitionist and Underground Railroad agent, for the next eight years. 